hey y'all um welcome back to my channel so um i posted a post today um talking about <clears throat> strength and how it takes a lot of strength to forgive people and um i hope i can get through this video without tearing up or crying y'all because I am just a crier and when I talk about stuff that just means a lot to me it I can get emotional so um um if you've been watching my videos or whatever then you know I'm going through a divorce it's not finalized but it's almost coming up to the time where I knew like that it was over i i couldn't take it anymore and i knew that i was going to be filing i just didn't know when i was going to file and it takes a lot of strength you know to come to that conclusion especially when you gave your all to try to hang in there. And although we were, we haven't been together this year, it's been 16 years because we're not divorced. Um, oh my goodness, Lord, Tiffany, you're going to get through this. <laughs> but, um, I decided to share my story because, for one, this is new to me. I've watched my mom get a divorce. I watch her go through it. And I just told myself growing up that that was something that I would not, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to put my kids through that. Like, and look at me. Nobody's perfect. You go into something not knowing, you know, what you're really going into. And um, it all comes down to the fact that it's over. Just waiting on the final, final, finalization. Um, and there's no turning back. There's no reconciliation when it comes to my marriage. Um, but along the way, um, with me thinking, well, me coming to the conclusion that I was going to file for divorce, I also didn't know that I was going to lose somebody else that was really, that I I loved. Oh my God, like a sister. And when I tell y'all, this has been the hardest year that I've ever had to deal with, like the hardest year. I got beat COVID. Um, still have long hauler symptoms. Beat COVID. I'm surviving. I'm still holding down the fort as a single mom. Like I'm doing, you know, taking care of what I need to take care of. And I'm trying my best to, like, you know, move on and stuff and I kept wondering I'm like Lord I know I mean you gotta let go of your strongholds you gotta you gotta mourn you gotta you gotta deal with things you know and the one thing the one thing that just kind of went over my head was forgiveness it was forgiveness 
And although I don't expect an apology from either one of them, because, I, I mean, I just don't expect it. And let's, neither one has, the, let's just say the, it's two separate situations. So I don't want anybody to think that, <laughs> you know, it had something to do with breaking up my marriage because it didn't. But I never thought in a million years that I would I would lose her too. And that that I think hurt me the most. Out of out of the, the situations that I've been dealing with. That one helped, it hurt me the most. And today I was talking to my sister and it just, I just felt God saying that I need to forgive. Yeah, you're doing everything else and you're living your life or whatever. But the reason I keep coming back and having those days where I might be down is because I never have forgiven them. I've never, I never forgave them. And I felt like I did. I thought that I, in my mind, I think I might have but I, I didn't because there be times where I just get so emotional like I cannot believe that it happened it went down the way that it did and that the way that I was treated um, and still being treated from one of them um, and I didn't do I didn't even do anything like I just I I kind of I I kind of was I think hanging on to the fact that it was nothing I just wanted to do this video because I needed for them to hear me when I say that I forgive you I forgive you for everything everything that was said, everything that was done to me. The way that, like, it's all about ownership. And not wanting to take ownership says a lot to me of how I meant to you. And I could see that it was a one-way ticket on both sides, on 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 from both ends, from you two. <laughs> um, I could I could see now that it was more me putting my all into the marriage and the friendship, and I thought I meant more but I guess I didn't and you, and it shows um, and I guess it, it hurt me more and it shows um, but I can live with that I can live with that and um, to each his own I'm not going to walk around here anymore hurting over what somebody else did to me, knowing that I didn't do anything to them to deserve it. Will I ever say what they did? I don't know. I don't know. Um, who knows? I, I'm leaving that in God's hands. But I do know that I want to continue to help, help and inspire other people um, 
because it's, it was very hurtful. It was very hurtful to me um, having to deal with both at the same time. And when you lose somebody after 29 years, it's not a hard pill to swallow. And as much as I love and cared for her, I just never thought that things would end the way that they did. But that's life. And I must go on. And I felt that I could not go on if I didn't forgive. So again, I forgive y'all. I'm not going to say your names. Because if you're seeing this, you know exactly who you are. <laughs> Everybody knows who I was married to. Um, some of you know who I'm talking about as a friend. Um, my side's never been told. Um, to the ones that think they know the situation, but they don't know. They don't know the half of it. <laughs> not not if it came from just her end or his end. Um, <laughs> because it happens behind it happened behind closed doors. So, um, of course, it's not gonna be out in the open. But again, to each his own. If you feel that you know me based off of what was said to you. I'll let you go on with that. Um, and to everybody else that was brought in, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, I just know that my character was pretty much taken out of con context. Um, I'm not who they put me out to be. I have a pure heart and I love them both. Would do anything for them and they know that. So, um, I just wanted to make this video, make this public Um, video of me saying that I forgive you. I have no malice in my heart. Although I will ever forget the hurt that you've caused me, I can move on knowing that I forgave you so that I can actually completely free myself. Um, because it, it, it is hard. That's a that's a chapter. That's a that's a like closing a book. Like, like almost thirty years of a friendship, sixteen years of a relationship. Those are some years, y'all. That's the longest I've ever been committed to one person. Well, two. The longest I've ever been. That's the longest I've ever been on a. I mean, more than I've been on. I've only been on my job for fourteen years. That's a, like that's like that friendship was like the bulk of my life. Like, but I knew in this journey of turning my life over to God, things were gonna get ugly. And that I was going to lose, I was going to lose some people and um, it was going to feel make me feel lonely and I had to live with that. Um, it's hurtful, but I chose God. Um, people can choose to take sides, but I chose God. He is the ultimate person that I need in my life. So whether you you want to be in my life or not, God is my number one. 
I release who he tells me to release. And that's that's it. Like I can't, there's no turning back as much as I wanted to um rekindle my friendship because I love that girl so much. I love her so much. But it's just not gonna it's not gonna be the same. It's not gonna be the same. And it's just so much that people don't know. So honestly, I did not know where I left off at. I had to go through the door. Um, but I felt that I had to do this video because I don't communicate with neither one of them. Um, so, and I know that he watches my stuff, although he probably want to play like he don't, but, um, so, I, I forgive y'all, I have no ill will towards you guys. Um, I pray that God heals your heart and that you don't do anybody else the way that you did me. Um, and I wish you all well. I really do. I wish you all the best. Um, and I hope that you guys can do the same for me. Um, and I guess that's going to sum up this video. It was an inspiration. It was just a release of forgiveness. I had to do it for myself. I'm doing this for myself, not specifically for you guys. I had to do it for me in order to move on. And because I refuse to go into a new year with this, I refuse. And um, I know going forward that my life will be private to an extent when it comes to who I'm with. Um, and it is what it is. I have to do that for the sake of my peace of mind. Um, But yeah, so I wish you both well, and it is what it is. I know that I will continue to have to see my ex-husband because of our son, but otherwise, it is what it is, and good luck to you both.